Problem 7. All right, in this problem, there's a horse pulling a sleigh with a constant speed of 1.2 meters per second with an, uh, by an applied force of 350 newtons. The question is how much work is being done on it. Again, I'll quickly free body diagram this problem. And we will draw a force vector. Since this horse is pointing to the left, I'll just point the force to the left. And we'll assume that it's moving to the left, so the displacement or velocity is also to the left and we can compute the work. So there is work being done. The work is positive because the force and the displacement or velocity, speed, whatever you prefer, are in the same direction. We know displacement and velocity are similar and they're going to be pointing to the left in this case. We'll write the equation. Work is force times distance and we'll quickly take inventory of what we know. And we know that it says a horse pulls a sled with a constant speed of 1.2 meters per second with a force of 350 newtons for a time of 100 seconds. So we'll come up and label. This is speed, 1.2 meters per second, force, 350 newtons, time. And we're given the force. We're good to go. That's 350 newtons. But we're not given the distance. This is similar to a previous problem. We can solve for the distance using the definition of speed. It's distance divided by time, or distance is speed times time. So the work done will be the force times the distance or the displacement, and displacement is speed times time. So we're good to go now. We know force, speed, time. We know everything we need to compute the work. So work is force. 350 newtons times speed 1.2 meters per second times the time 100 seconds and we'll have cancellation seconds will cancel seconds 350 times 1.2 times 100 will reveal the answer is for 42,000 joules worth of work being done on this sleigh and again, if you think about this, as time goes on, if the horse were to continue to apply this force, this object would gain speed. And a little extension, this sleigh would start off with a small velocity vector, and then, so we'll make that V-naught, and then sometime later it would end up with a large velocity vector. It will gain energy. Work is being done on it. So again, E plus W equals E prime. So if this work is not zero, E prime will be greater than E. Positive work is done, and this object's going to go faster and faster as time progresses.